Hi, <clears throat> my name is Ted Barrow, and I like to comment on videos. So I'm going to try to solve, to cure myself of that by commenting on Ryan Lay's 15 minute video of a 102 trick line, which begins now with the Nolly 180, switch 5 0 to 180 on a flat bar. I'm going to guess that this is the hardest trick he does. I'm also going to guess that that nollie kickflip is the only flip trick he does. Nollie frontside crook, not bad for trick number four, dude. Um, so far, so good. I know Ryan is a very good skateboarder, but uh, to do those five tricks in a row is impressive. And he finishes with a switch backside board slide. Not impressive. Switch frontside 5-0, kind of whatevs. Um, nice, switch backside blunt, a little bit of redemption. Um, let me tell you a little bit about my history with Ryan Lay um, as he provides this filler. This is how these videos are going to go. He's going to do filler, I'm going to do filler. Back nose grind, front blunt. Um, I skated with Ryan Lay once with Jack Sabak at the park in Queens. And um, he didn't do a backside tail slide that terribly. But I don't think he did 102 tricks either. Nolly lip slide. Didn't take him for a Nolly lip slider. At any rate, um, a few years ago, I was thinking about quitting skateboarding. So I did what most people do when they think about quitting skateboarding. I bought a welcome board. I ordered it online. I researched the shapes. I thought, you know, do I want... Um, a witch's sour tit milk shape with the Kurdu graphic, or am I more of a five t five clawed tripping sloth kind of guy on the moon vector graphic or shape? I like how they have those names. In fact, here's something that a lot of people don't know about me. I like welcome. So anyway, uh, I ordered this welcome board as like my retirement board. It came. It was great. I set up some ace trucks. And I realized that um, skating on shaped boards wasn't easy, nor fun. That if you've been skating since 1987, as I have, you went through that period of skating on shaped boards. And that was kind of an awkward period. Not a lot got done. A lot of distracting shapes and weird edges and like steep tails and noses that were tiny and sharp. Boards were more like weapons than actual skateboards. When they, when they finally became the popsicle stick, it just meant that you could like actually focus on your tricks and not focus on the shape of your board. It was more not, no nonsense to me and it appealed to me. So just because I'm old as fuck, I won't skate a shaped board anymore, um, even though I did buy a welcome board. Full price, set up some ace trucks. Ace trucks, you know what feels nice? Ace trucks. They turn really well. But you know what also paradoxically feels nice? When you mall grab an ace truck and that kingpin is between your middle finger and your ring finger and you're just holding on to that thin, smooth hanger. It feels really good. So, again, like all things that I hate, I hate Ace and I hate Welcome because they reflect bad things about my own personality. And I don't know why that isn't more obvious to more people. Um, like, I hate 50-50s, like that switch backside 50-50, because I do them because I'm lazy. And I don't do a hundred trick, I don't do hundred and two trick lines. I do like four trick lines. It's around this point at trick number thirty-five, as Ryan sips his water, that I bet you anything he's starting to think, "Why the fuck did I think about doing this on my birthday of all days?" And he's, you know, as he's pushing away from that backside crook, he's thinking, "I was a fourteen-year-old once with dreams of being a pro skater." And I, was, I would skate every day, and I would try to land every trick I possibly could. 
And I've experienced a lot of success in my career as a skateboarder, and I've experienced a lot of disappointment, and I'm finally getting my life back together. I've got this great skate after school program. I'm an entrepreneur. I still have all my tricks. I ride for a cool niche company. But all of that doesn't mean anything because I'm doing a 102 trick line. And I'm skating this park that I basically designed and had built. And I'm wearing the best looking pair of pants that Ted has ever seen. I mean it, those pants are great. I'm gonna shift away from Ryan Lay's imagined internal monologue and talk about these pants. They're pleated, they're a dark loden or an olive color, and they fit like a champ. Kind of looks like, like Brian Lottie in a Planet Earth video or something. They're that era of like good pants. Pleats are gonna go out of style soon. This is the, the high point of the pleat is in this 102 trick line by Ryan Lay of utterly mediocre tricks. Nolly backside, lip slide to fakie, for shame, sir. But redemption with the switch backside 5 front 180. That's why I like Ryan Lay. He knows how to balance a good line. 102 trick line, backside blunt, filler. What is he gonna do here? It's gonna be better. And I'm an idiot, not better, worse, a 50-50. Oh, that's gotta hurt. At this point, he's like basically ready to keel over. He's like, I'm at trick 50. I'm going to do a bunch more 50-50s. Switch backside crook is the 50-50 of switch stance tricks. Switch frontside 50-50. What did I say? Trick 52? Still a 50-50. Um, oh, a fakey 50-50. I guess that. If this is synced up right, you'll know that I predicted that he was going to do that. Um, yeah, he's just like, oh, Jesus Christ, what did I get myself into? Also, props. Oh, no, it's not a switch backside tail side, babe. Sorry. Switch susky, if anything. I didn't care what you meant to do. It's what I saw. Um, props to the locals of this park who are so patiently letting Ryan Lay do his thing. That was nice. Um, these guys aren't pros, you know. They, like, they have day jobs. And they're probably like on their lunch break and they have like 45 minutes to skate. And they see Ryan Lay's car pull up. I bet you anything Ryan Lay drives like a, a Prius or something. They see the Prius roll up to the spot and they're like, oh, great. They're like, shit, man, I only have 45 minutes to skate and Ryan Lay is going to come here and do like a 15 minute long line and film it. And we got to let him because he had this park built. So we just got to sit there in what little shade exists in Arizona, those spindly little trees offering absolutely no relief from the unrelenting sun. We have to sit there in the shade and watch Ryan Lay do a fucking switch backside nose grind as his 61st trick. We got to be stoked because he can kick us out of this park because he's tough. I don't know if they really think that last part, but they still have to be, you know, respectful to the God as he does his backside crook and wants to puke, and doubts himself, and hates his life, and wears the most fetching pair of pants that I think I've ever seen in a 15 minute long marathon line video part. Um, yeah, okay, I like it. There's a little bit, there's a little narrative with those crooked grinds. He just popped over a flat bar and before he did one on a ledge. That's pretty cool. A nose bonk. Okay, that's a nose bonk, but not a nose manual. Got it. Anyway, um, <clears throat> thing about I like about Welcome is all those guys are really good. I think I've already established that the reason I don't skate shaped boards is because I'm not good enough. I'd rather just skate a normal board. It's hard enough doing my switch backside tricks on like a normal shaped board. To do a switch frontside nose grind front 180 on a square board would uh, be really hard for me, and that's why I don't like shaped boards. Anyway. Uh, not only is the welcome team good and talented, they also dress cool. And I think Ryan Lay is like the all-American upper echelon of the welcome team. I mean, look at his outfit. It's, pretty, it's nice. What are those, like, Etni shoes? Probably vegan, which makes me feel guilty for having a shitty diet. Um, those beautiful pants. Regular old welcome t-shirt, white, 
Chris Miller looking graphic. And, you know, a country club hat, a dad hat. Utilitarian, practical, tasteful, even when you're about to puke, which is what Ryan's about to do. Got it. I could see Ryan Lay at a country club in that outfit. Now, let me qualify that a little bit. I could see Ryan Lay working at a country club with that outfit as like a busboy. Beautiful switchbacks I tell side. I'll let you borrow my lady for a 76 trick long line. I was born in 1976, incidentally, and although I can still switch backside tail side, I don't think I could half cab that flat bar. Nollie backside nose slide. Kind of sick of the kind of backside description in that uh, trick title. God, he's just like, oh, his beard is actually growing out of his pores. He's foaming at the mouth. He's beginning to hit his second wind, but he is experiencing massive pain. This is not the 102 trick line of someone who loves skateboarding. This is the 102 trick line of someone who lives in Arizona and truly has nothing better to do. Actually, I'm sure he has a very full, rich and rewarding life. He has a Paris Hilton dog, beautiful girlfriend, an ethical charity, the skate after school program, and uh, some pretty neat sponsors. I'm just jealous. That was a nice Nolly frontside nose grind. I too would have hooted and hollered like he just did if I'd landed that, but that's just because I have my own hang ups about frontside. Um, eh, I don't want to quibble too much, but that was lame to turn around. Switch frontside 50 50. That one's different than the other one because he did it on the other obstacle. His friends are just like, dude, can you hurry up and bail? Like, I have to be back at work in my office and. You just did a nolly tail slide. It sucks being friends with Ryan Lay. Switch frontside salad. Is that hard? I don't know. I feel like I could learn that. I would skate this park. I would skate the shit out of this park. I would come here at like 7 a.m. as the mist from the desert is lifting off of that concrete and I would do every switch backside trick I could do on each of these obstacles, which is about three tricks. So multiply that by three, which is the number of obstacles, and you have a 41-year-old man bragging about being able to do, to do nine tricks at a skate park in Arizona. That is a very generous description of a switch backside nose grind. I don't remember if any truck went on ledge at that particular moment, but it was trick number 89. That is a whopper. That was incredible. Honestly, that might have been the best trick I saw, that nose slide pop over as trick number 90. Um, at this point, he's basically hit his second wind, and he's just, like, hallucinating. I don't think that this strange, ambient, porno music is playing in his head. I can only imagine that as he pulled that switch flip that he's thinking of America's song, Horse With No Name, about tripping in the desert. And that explains that backside willy grind, which is a tasteless, a very tasteless trick, but kind of on brand for welcome. Um, he's skating the same obstacle twice. There, that's like an improvement. He probably thinks he didn't do that backside willy grind. And his friends are like, yay, Ryan, you just, oh, you did a lip slide. Like... We haven't been able to skate for 12 minutes, and he did a fucking lip slide. That was incredible. That was, I think, my favorite trick. Trick number 96, switch frontside 50-50, back 180 out. Um, I think I had to wait 95 tricks for him to do a really cool trick. Fakie frontside 50-50, the fat kid trick for kids that don't want to try. That was also kind of classy. He's got good combos. I will give this guy that. Oh, yeah, that's a manual, but the other thing was a nose bonk. Who does these trick namings? Why don't I have the job naming these tricks? If I can't do the tricks. Actually, you know what? What I like about this line is I could do, like, a solid 87% of these tricks. Switch back lip ends with the feel-nothing trick. Rolling away from that trick, and I've done it. 
uh, you feel nothing. Look at him. Look, nothing. Nothingness. He's like, I don't even know what I'm doing. I think I'm going to try this. Oh, yuck. A 50-50. What a Dude, sad, I pathetic end to a glorious I, line. I, I Why didn't you just stop at the switch backside lip slide, man? You were onto something. We were, we were in sync. Your friends are mad at you. That is the least sincere back pat. So they want to punch you because you made them sit too. in the sun while you did that line. It's your birthday. That's why they're not beating you up. Yeah, if camera, your filmer's mad at you too. Oh, God. Ice pack on your face. This is how you spent your birthday, dude. That's pathetic. Actually, I'm pathetic. I'm talking about this. Ryan, send me those pants. Is that weird? Am I that much of a fan? 